Hi, Gay DeRusso with the Majestic Rider. Here today with Smokey. We're working on getting him used to backing out of the trailer. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about trailer training. If you want your horse to back up out of the trailer, a whole bunch of things have to be done ahead of time and be good for the horse to be able to do it well and do it on command. One, your horse has to be able to maneuver as he's going backwards. That means you have to be able to steer him. So first you have to know how to do that and he has to know how to do that. So a great place to do it, he's spooking at something, is to uh, come in the round pen and practice backing them up. He could back up, but not very well. So the first day I just worked on him backing up and doing it better. And then after that, I put poles up ground. Come on. You gotta be quick with horses. Come here. And there's something over there, but I don't see what it is. We'll figure it out. If he's gonna run over me, uh, make sure you tell me so I get out of the way. So. Um, then you want to back them over something because to get out of the trailer, if you have a step down, they have to pick their feet up and then put them down on the ground in a different spot and it's very scary. And if you don't believe that, I want you to get on a stair, close your eyes, but you can hold on to the railing so you don't fall down and step off backwards and see what it's like. Especially you know how big the stair is, but the horse doesn't know how big the step off is. So it's very scary to them. So I like to teach them a code and I just tell them off when they have to step over something so they have an idea that they're supposed to pick their foot up and that the footing's gonna be there, but it's gonna be there in a little bit different spot. So I teach them how to steer backwards. I make sure they have a good back up. Then I make sure they can back over poles. Once I can back them over poles, I back them in and out of everything. The stalls, I'm just walking. I back them up somewhere. There's um, a branch or something like that and I back them over. So today I set up a little cross rail over there. So two, uh, poles that are crossing each other because I didn't want to make it too high and so what I'm going to have him do is back over it so he's got to be able to back up well I have to be able to steer him and then he has to pick his feet up when I tell him so let's see how it goes but I have practiced it some before I put this on I'm going to move him far enough away just like if we were in a trailer would have some space before he back up so now I'm just going to wiggle the rope. He knows that means back up. Back. And don't rush them. It's going to be fast when they're getting off the trailer. Off. That's okay. Off. 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 Now he messed all the poles up, but I still kept backing them over it because sometimes things aren't going to be perfect. So in case you couldn't hear me, when he went to back up, he hit the cross rail and the pole separated. He's a calm horse, so I wasn't worried about it. Um, if you don't have a calm horse, you might want to fix those things before you, you continue backing up. But otherwise, if it's calm horse, I want them to learn how to maneuver their feet and get out of problems if they get stuck in something. So I just left it and he had his foot in between the two poles and then actually got it out. So he backed up, but not very well that time. So we're going to do it again. Remember, never quit or stop for the day until they do it really well. I gave him a little reward for trying. He did it better, but he's still stepping on it a little bit. He's a walking horse and they sometimes are not so agile with their feet and they step on stuff and don't care um, where some of the other gated horses will care. So we're gonna do it again and again until he can do it without actually stepping on the pole so much. So he keeps hitting it, 
so I'm going to change it because he's not figuring it out. Although he did it perfectly well before I put the camera on, which is always the best. So it just makes me like it. He did pretty well. He did a little bit better before I put the camera on, but that's okay. It's hard picking their feet up. And then they also get lazy and go, oh, I just step on the pole, nothing happens. So I don't have to pick my feet up that hard. So I had to practice some, I don't want to overdo it where he gets too bored and starts getting clumsier. So I'm going to take him out, walk him around, keep him out of my personal space because that was an issue for him too. And then I'm just going to back him up in random places to get his back up really well. Now, once you can do this and you can back up and steer your horse really well, that's when you want to start trying it out of the trailer. But a lot of people get the horse in the trailer and that's where they think they're going to teach the horse to back up. And sometimes you get them stuck in the trailer, they won't get out because they can't figure it out. So remember, practice everything first, break it down into pieces, figure out exactly what you have to do to do the maneuver you're trying to get and break it down into little tiny pieces and then put all the pieces together. So remember, for backing out of a trailer, a step down, this isn't a ramp, for the step down, he has to have a good backup, he has to steer well backwards, he has to listen, stay out of my space so he doesn't run over the top of me, and then he has to be able to pick his feet up and set his feet down. Um, another thing just to keep in mind, when horses are backing out of a trailer, they'll try to do this. And some of the horses are trying to turn around and just run out forwards, but the other ones are actually trying to look to see where they're going. So they go like this and the people yank on their head and then the horse gets scared because he doesn't know where he's going. You can let them look, just don't let them turn around, but let them look, see that they're getting out, that they have to step down. Even if they're halfway, you know, backing out and they want to stop and look, let them look because you want to build up their confidence and it is a scary thing to step down something and not know how far you're going to step and that's why some of them get so scared or they run out and just do it quickly because they're very nervous about it so slow and steady i like the horses to listen to me so in case something in the as they're backing out in the middle i need to stop them they will stop and not panic so take your time do it well before you practice it in the trailer